Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hot Mix right here on the Edge of Tech, where we aim to educate and entertain the maker world. Hot Makers, how you guys doing? I'm here with the one and the only Pooch is in the house. How you doing, Pooch? I'm good. I am good. I'm here to entertain, as you say, and I guess we're going to educate. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get educated. I don't know if we're going to impart any education, but we'll see. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's too much fun. Well, I, I should have said this is Nerdy J and the Pooch. That's, Nerdy I mean, Jay like, and the Pooch coming yeah. at you. That's awesome. So we were last week. Uh, you weren't here, and we were talking a little bit about. Um, I was here in spirit. You were here in spirit. I know. We were talking about the verfs, right? The the before and the, after verfs. Verf. Yes, yes. And it was funny every time I, I went on both as you did, mm. and people were like Nerdy J, Nerdy J, you know, and and yeah, they were giving me a hard Nerdy time. Nerdy J, time. people love awesome. people love Nerdy J, man. They yeah, there's it. a there's a couple of people out there that want Techie J, but. I don't know well, if too bad. right now. Too bad. It's not a this is not a <laughs> democracy. You don't get a vote. It's nerdy J. Get on board it. or GTFO. <laughs> My ear, someone says hearing. I don't know what's going on, but um that's awesome. I uh, oh, I gotta... talking about the ear savers. Oh, the ears, yes. Yeah, I've been printing the crap out of those for my hospital. Just print um, the, the 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 nurses love them, they'll love you for it. They, they do where, I where put out uh yeah. 350 of them just walking around i think right around 350 already um which isn't that many but it is um so today i have a different setup so that's why i'm looking up i kind of showed you earlier um but i i, I needed a change i needed space back and stuff so i set show up us, show us. oh you show want me to show you show right, us. Show us. so show I, I set us. up a sheet and i set up a uh, projector and now i'm looking up because it's not my projector's not low enough above me yet, but I'll fix it. But hey, you guys, how you guys doing? I'm gonna show you. Let's 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 see it. Let's what see if I don't got? take myself out of the show stream, me like. what you got. So this is what I'm looking at uh, currently. Oh, you see? All right. yeah. So you, the camera there, an advanced light. advanced teleprompter system you have. Now. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> can say that. I love it's, it, uh, but it's a little high, so I need to. I need to work on that, and um, I'll, I'll get it. I'm going to dial it in once I get an actual mount for my projector. I, I made one out of wood. It's above me way up here. But um, who needs an ear saver? I love that. Mike uh, from Never Let the Machines Win had a good idea last week. Um, thanks for the tweet or the private message on Twitter, Mike. I hope I fulfilled that today. I'm not sure how it worked out, but let me know. Um, and then let's see red five checking in i love that but anyways we got some cool stuff i know um we only have pooch for around 30 40 minutes tonight he has a, a another meeting to get to um regards i know to all i'm sorry it won't it doing. won't always be this way guys i swear it won't we're not you know uh, we're you're not okay to like that we understand linus is better than us i mean it's all good <laughs> that guy <laughs> i told you i didn't even get to meet linus i got his producer you know this is like very they only like i said they only dust off linus you know for the for the you know one video and then they they put him back in his his storage uh probably cryo unit <laughs> yeah, back to his house yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love how they, he was just saying it was it looked like a lovely day in the garden at Linus's yeah. house. Did you see that? He was just like sitting out back. The birds are chirping. Very nice. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Man. And it's it's a lot of fun to watch that stuff. And it's awesome to see you on the other shows. And um, this you have to you have to tell them next time. Hashtag hot makes like in the middle of your like right in the middle of your interview. And then what's going to happen is they'll edit it out anyway. <laughs> they probably will yeah because i tell you, i'll just keep going forever and it's really hard yeah. see the, here's the secret is you just keep talking really fast so that they don't have anywhere to chop and edit in on you and then they have to keep it all <laughs> nice. good luck with that <laughs> but uh cool we got some really cool stuff today we, we're gonna we're gonna kind of rearrange so we could get you involved with some hot makes of the week and then uh I, I, are you gonna do a pooch rant today Oh, maybe I have to. I might have to improv a pooch rant. I mean, I'm sure I could right. come up with something to get angry about if if, if we need it. <laughs> All right, you, you want me to rant? You feed me some feed me some ideas in the chat, and we'll see there if you I, go. see if I get fired up about anything. So so we'll uh, we'll start it off with that, and then um, like oh, we're starting we'll, off with that. Okay, All right. No, we'll start it off with the uh, hot makes of the week. Yeah, and let's then we'll do come that. Back and and we'll see where you're at as far as um, 
you know, as far as the poo trance goes, we'll see where time is at. And then we got a lot of cool stuff. So let me just share that screen. We're going to jump right into it. Uh, it. Feel free to keep chatting us. I, when I do this, I'm only watching the um, StreamYard chat, so I'm a little bit behind. Um, but let's go see here. Application window. Ooh. Technology. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, you know, yeah. that's right. It was Easter yesterday. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Viking. Just, 3D printing Viking. Yeah. Viking. Do Vikings celebrate Easter? You wouldn't think. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I'm not sure, but Thomas printed this um, this egg. Um, where are we? You got to be on the first one, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So Thomas printed this egg. He said he printed it for his fiance. Uh, it's an alien slacker pulsating purple PLA, and awesome. uh, that's a pretty uh, pretty awesome egg for Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. It's a good tongue twister. I want to know what the base uh, situation is like because you know you bring a you bring a a cylinder, or sorry, not a cylinder, a sphere kind of object kind of, and it, you know, it hits at a point. So does it have a special base on there? Because getting that to balance and knock, knock off of there. Maybe this is just for photo, photo opportunity. I don't know. Anyway, it looks um, nice. It looks clean. I, I like it, the. I think it's Viking magic. Viking magic is the, always the answer to that. And this is this is uh, Josh's pulsing, pulsating purple PLA. Pulsating later. purple. That's the uh, that's the PPP. The pulsating purple PLA. I want to see it actually pulsate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, yeah. This was awesome. So uh, for Asgard, check this out. Wow. That, that's, that's pretty dang clean awesome. Clean resin right there. Or is it just super finished? That, that's pretty big for resin. Uh, you think it's just like sanded to high well, heaven? Um, we'll go back to the tweet and we'll look, uh, but that's pretty dang smooth for, oh, look, at the, uh, look at the detail on the, on the wings there. Man. Yeah. I was just looking at this. Ooh. I mean, hot, that is, that's, hot, hot, that's definitely hot. Downboard. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. The skin. I mean, like the, just look how, like how smooth the skin tones are like, like the, it, oh. and the flowing hair. You know, I think I'm looking in a mirror. You do, it is almost like looking in a mirror for you. <laughs> Where is your winged helmet, my friend? You need one. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the first time I've ever sculpted Thor before. Um, he's loved the classic comic ver book version of him. Let's see. It's Oh, you know what? It's a Piopoli Phenom. It's a why. Phenom. Yeah, so it is resin. Yep, yep. And they're, gonna, they're about ready to release a couple new machines. Um, both, I believe, bigger than the Phenom. Yep. And one with the monochrome screen, so that'll be that'll be awesome. Ooh. Um, the the DFA beast, the death from above, laser, yeah. Because <laughs> what the world needs is bigger resin printers, right? Like big, like yes, just, just like you should be pouring gallons of resin in. It's just going to cost you like at least a grand to fill up your resin <laughs> vat. I swear, I'm already full. Oh, I am. <laughs> um, so. This one right here came to us, uh, a shadow box to <laughs> commemorate the OG printer parts. His first Prusa MK2. I love that. Look at that. I love that idea. That's clever. I really did. I, I do love that idea. It's, it's just a cool like huh. way to display, you know? Very cool. So that's the that's the original Mark II S? Mark II. Uh, it looks, looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Mark II S. Nice. But I just love how we put it together with the pieces here and then everything. Oh, that's that's great. It's a good idea. I like nice it. Nice work. Uh, I cannot see chat currently, so hopefully uh, I'm watching it. They're not they're not being too mean to you. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gotta be careful. Robbie Max in the house, so yeah, be careful about being mean. You know. No. Oh, will, he, will he will he just put everyone in check? Is it what he's in, <laughs> is the mean police? I, I have no idea. Okay, sure. Well, he's wing hashtag wingman number one. So, oh, I love um, it. So here's another I'm one. Out. Uh, looking out, Robbie Mac. Oh, this looks like a bear upgrade here. The purple uh, bear. It probably definitely is a bear upgrade. And uh, let's see, top made it on this one. Other two, not so much. Mm. And I thought that was a really cool way, uh, you know, a design for an egg as well, being Easter and, and yeah, you no, know. that's a that's a clean looking print. 
That is a clean. Uh, <laughs> it's a, that's a lot of retraction happening there. See, that's a good test of how dialed in you are. Anytime you got just tons of little retractions like that, that would be a, that would be a good torture test. And and my wife, a huge purple fan, would absolutely love the Barney color here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hot. I love it. Definitely. What we got next? Oh yeah, this was cool. What? Check that out. Here, let's see. I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna shape shaker dragon. And the little dude riding on him. No, I know it's not actually what's his name because he's more of a dog than a dragon, but or some sort of thing. Right but it's pretty cool. I love it. it. Sounds cool too. I don't know if you can hear the sound. What is it? So what's going on there? It's just like a like a big old camshaft basically at the yeah, bottom. It's kind of kind of giving it the old wiggles. That is, and and. uh I, I believe that's what it looks like to me. It's kind of all attached underneath here. Mm. And and that's a very good description, kind of like a camshaft. I and yeah. I thought that was that was really cool. That is super cool. I like that. I wonder, uh, did, did you see anything about how long it took to make that? Because that's a lot of little pieces. Something dragon, 3D Jimmy said. Is that <laughs> uh okay? You, you can download it on yep. their homepage. Okay. Yeah. So, so do we have a do we have a means right now for people? Okay. So it's a, it's on Colts. It's on Colts 3D. Yep. So do we do we have a means of of capturing? Because I know we've been capturing the the people that are tagging it, but like if you know people want to go back and look at these links, you know, after the fact without having to watch through the video again, we we need to work on that still, right? So we, like I, here's all the links that were yeah. shown in Hot Makes this week. That's a good idea. I should put something together. Um, I think we could probably just take the 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 if this then that that feeds us everything and probably just pare down you know because the link will be in that so it's probably just a little copy pasta. Sure, cool. I mean, let's do it. All right, we need a we need a producer to handle our our <laughs> admin work like that. Look at this, Linus. Will you get on that for me? Okay, yeah. thanks. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, this one was really cool. The silver rub and buff printed on the Creality Ender Three. Um, with Matter Hacker's gold filament primed and uh, primed and rub and buffed with silver wax compound. Uh, uh, the old rub and so buff. Yep. That is sick. Yeah. It's like De Los, de los Muertos. Uh, and then, so it's like a skeleton with braces. Look, he's got the little <laughs> yeah. things on his teeth. I that's love nut, it. That's nuts. That, that for me, that's a hot. That's that's super hot right there. What that's a sweet model right there. Uh, uh, you know, having to get that uh, made to yeah yeah sweet uh, made to your fit your face. Like, did you have to do some custom shaping, or just happen to you happen to have the right face for the job here? Um, that's a good question. I think some people actually because they have a three D uh, scan of their head. I think yeah. that's what um, Uncle Jesse does. We, you know, he fits everything to his 3D scanned head and it scales it to 100%. I well, believe. Dude, he has to because the dude has a giant dome. Like, it's, <laughs> it's humongous. I've seen it in real life. It's like he's 20% of that guy's head. <laughs> it's a lot of head. <laughs> yeah, 3D Jimmy says, imagine going to the dentist, getting in the chair, and then taking a mask off over this mask. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. You're wearing you're wearing your surgical mask, right? And then you reveal that. Yeah. Ah, ah, right. Ah, ah, ah. That's pretty awesome. Maybe some Halloween enhancements, you know, like light and and like <laughs> smoke coming out of it. That's phenomenal. Wild. What do we got here? Oh, uh, so what we got here is uh, what is this? The majestic king of the jungle. Um, it looks like they did at 300 millimeters. Holy moly! Oh, it's 300 millimeters. Okay. I was like a second. That's fast. Sixty millimeters a second. There it is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Thirty-five hours. Um, Ender five. Ender five. Ender five alive. Yeah, I thought that. You know what this reminds me of? One of those old plastic injection mold things you get at like the zoo. Oh right. I was gonna say looking in the mirror again, but you know, <laughs> because the main, the main. Right. Right. Not yeah. the muscle part, the main. The muscle tone too on your hindquarters, I'm sure, is at least comparable <laughs> yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. I right. just like to hide it because I don't want, you know, I'm married. I don't want the women to come after me. So I hide it's it with the it. overcoat. Downplay. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's yeah. smart. It's smart. <laughs> it's hard enough to beat off, you know, the ladies the, that, you know, are coming at you as it is, I'm sure. So it's good. 
Lindsay's God, rolling. That, I, could, I, could, I literally just heard Lindsay rolling her eyes from the other room. Like, right? <laughs> like it was amazing. You probably did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not watching chat. I'm not sure she's on right now, but I'm sure if she's on, she just chatted something. But this is a super clean print for an Ender 5. Mm. I mean, Sometimes I wish I had just supports like that just to like, because when I'm tired in the middle of the day, I just want to be like, <laughs> yeah. I need chin supports. Hang on. Oh, crap. There we go. Like this. So you just like let yeah. it hold you up. For my, yeah. You know, for my loins and yeah, all that area too. Just, I just need some supports, human supports. All right. Now that we're talking about loins, on to the next one. No. <laughs> Gird them. I love it. <laughs> oh, let's see. But that print is... Lo oh, geez. 3D Jimmy's pulling some Brian Vines going on here. Oh, is it BV3D not in the house, so somebody's got to step it up on the pun patrol. Not right now, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Two and a half days. Uh, Davos um, by Sid Neek. I believe that's how you said it. I, I think that's how we say it. Um, Hot. Look Love at this. It. I mean, the, this, the detail in this model is awesome. Yeah. And that's FDM. Yeah. I can see. I yeah. There's the definitely line. layer lines in that. Um, man, that's, that, like that's it. a great print. I love the well, color. And too. the modeling. I mean, whoever modeled that just did a phenomenal job. Too. Uh, yes, Sydney did. Good job, Sydney. Uh, right here. I swear, oh. I followed I followed this person last time when we showed their yeah, stuff. Don't lie. don't lie, man. You follow them, then you unfollow them real quick. Uh, I don't you because you I have your plague with following people. I, uh, I, I need people to follow me, so keep following me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, actually, no, because that would require me to go back and actually unfollow them, so I don't. It's true. It's twice as much work to follow and then it unfollow is. somebody. Yeah. But I love this. They're blocking you anyway, says Battle Cry. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Here's another Don, Don Burkholder. Uh, let's see here. Frozen Sonic Mini. Probably. Yep. I and like it. Look at that. Huh. And then the mic. It's good little modeling there. You got a baby Yoda in the background. Some good <laughs> little good little figurines. What, 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 what model is that? This is uh, Akali. Akali? I think that's how you say Al it. Akali? Akali? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's nice, though. Someone in the chat will uh, correct me because I, I'm apparently I'm probably saying that wrong. But, uh, hey, Sergio's in the house. Hey, Sergio. Um, Zolan says he has a power tail script that can follow and unfollow a list of Twitter accounts for you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I just That's need bots. I just need bots to do everything for me these days. Yeah. Somebody write me a bot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, functional design by Bugman 140. Silk mm. rainbow. My daughter loves it. It'll be perfect for our Easter egg hunt. Check this out. Ooh, That's pod gorgeous. I want a life size one of those that I can like nap in. Yeah, I was just thinking a nap pod. Nap, that nap would be pod egg. So, Bugman challenge thrown down. Look, Look at that. Oh, I, would, I would curl up in there. Opens? I would curl up in there. Yeah. And then and then I could be launching then you just close it? if I needed to. It'd just be a pot. Yeah. Perfect. Make it compatible with the latest, uh, you know, SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon, yeah. you know, pod. <laughs> I, think, I think I need to print a life-size version of this. I think we could get a sponsor to provide enough. Yeah, man. If we, could get, if we could get Steve to bust out the part daddy, we could totally make that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome. It's a and, lot of fill in it, but I in rainbow good. silk part, daddy fill. Yeah, <laughs> that'd can be you hot. Imagine, can you imagine that thing uh, printing in rainbow silk somehow? I would love it. I want. I. 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 You know, I would love to get my hands on a part, daddy print because uh, those things are. Those things are They're sweet. Cool. Yeah. They are cool. All uh, right, what do we got next here? Oh, egghead. Um, uh, <laughs> Bonehead? Egghead? What is that? Uh, it is, let's see. He, he said, I really didn't know there was a model of my face on Thingiverse. <laughs> this creepy Easter hook is printed in filamento, filamento, filamentum, vertigo uh -huh. starlight. Uh -huh. Um, nice. it reminds me of what's going on there. It kind of has a two face, uh, from like Batman vibe, but not, not quite so Fixed severe. With penguin and, uh, cone heads. Cone heads, yeah, for sure. 
That's I don't know, but very strange. Yeah, it's, it's I content. really I really like this filament though. It's nice. It's nice. It's got that galaxy. Yeah. Or like the, the you know it looks like Atomic's uh, Starry Night if you ever seen that. Uh, yeah. That's that's a hot filament. That's one of my faves. Vertigo Starlight. All right, we're gonna have to check out Vertigo Starlight. Um, nice work there. It it that is creepy. I should print like a full size one and put it next to my wife's bed. Yeah, next she would love that. Bed, I'm know? sure. Just like put it on your what, pillow and have she's it when she wakes yeah. up, and then she's staring right into the. That's <laughs> <laughs> solid. Um, Wait, is this a puzzle egg? What do we got here? This is, uh, this is yeah. Um, that's Maker Muse puzzle egg. This person's take on the Maker Muse Eastern puzzle egg. Uh, different colors of wood fill PLA, uh -huh. and um, let's see with a core of PETG. And let's let's pop this open here. Let's there we go. Here. Oh yeah, check that out. Let's let's look. Nice. That's rotation. <laughs> A very right. nice turntable. I love it. Looks good. I thought that was cool. And I yep. I think this is on my list of must things, you know, things to, to print now. You can put that on your short list? Yeah, I gotta put it on my short list. Yeah, I, I print get my couple. nap pod, get my nap pod done first, please. And then you can work on that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to outsource like a uh, that'll be a good crowdsourcing print, right? A giant egg nap pod. And what we glue it all together. Yeah, I don't want seams because it'll it'll be disruptive to my naked skin because you can't you can't <laughs> sleep clothed in a pod like that you, because that way it's like that oh scene boy. from Ace, Ace Ventura when I'm gonna come like plopping out of the thing. Well, when he yeah. comes out of the rhino. If you do that, I will print it just to see it. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I I gotta oh, say, I would, you know, I would do it. Don't dare me. That would be amazing. Um, right before your uh, your next spool race, and that'll really throw Chep off. It would. It's because it's not you know spool racing is ninety percent mental. We wheel out the egg, you know, and then we push the egg out. Like, and what is the that? And then I'm like, open, ah. the fog comes out of the door, you know. Ba -da -da, da, <laughs> da -da -da -da. So this one uh, comes to us by Robbie Mack, um, D and D Tomb of Horrors, three D printed in FDM. On a CR 10 S4, okay. painted and infinity really, gear added. So really, uh, let's really dark. Let's see. Let's oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. seeing that. Yeah, that's hot. That is that's awesome. Hot. I think uh, I think Warcocky tagged that, didn't he? Because I remember yep. he was saying like, and I said that is hot. I loved it. I still yeah, definitely. do. I, so here's a here's a challenge for anyone for for this week going into next week. Um, if you can out tag Chris Warcocky on the hot makes, you win. <laughs> tag off because I would say seventy five percent of the tags are coming from Chris, and and that's awesome. And this looks like you know this is some uh, models mixed from here. Well, Chris um, is very plugged in, man. He knows what's he hot is. and what's not. And I love it. I, I I appreciate it. Keep it flying too. Mm. I can't. I, I'm not watching the chat, but I I didn't see him on there yet. Oh, he's on there. Is he's he on, on there? there? Yeah, he nice. says print. Says print of the year. Robbie Mac. Print of the year, Robbie Mac. Hashtag yeah. Wingman number one. Uh, Sonic is ready and available to download for my Patreons. Also a very uh, also an early work in progress of the next sculpt coming soon. Let's see. <laughs> Hey, hey, Warcocky just throw you two bones. Tag expert. He's a tag sport. So you got, yeah. Nice. Thank, thank you. I, let me let me jump back in here. Thank you so much for the for that, uh, Chris. Um, oh, great. Dollar ninety nine, Paul. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate that. Uh, I, I love it. You, you tag, you do all the work, and then you give me a dollar ninety nine. I I mean, that's that's the best thing ever. Everyone gets a little <laughs> love. This is great. I appreciate that, Chris. My heater just kicked on, and my makeshift uh, uh, projector screen's blowing in the wind now. So this will be fun. <laughs> so maybe some design, you know, <laughs> tweaking. To do. Well, what happens is I can't get a real screen yet until um, I get the the projector in its final resting place, and I measure what size screen I need. Right. Sure. And and so now I have a makeshift, as you saw earlier, a sheet up here. And a uh, design flop, the heater kicked on, and now like half the screen is like, Woo. but right. So uh, now I got motion in all my pictures. 
<laughs> just, all full, just full motion. Yeah. There's a little sonic action. This is nice. I got, I'm glad he doesn't have the, the weird human teeth that he had in the first uh, yeah. oh, previews. Donkey Kong. Oh, DK. Yeah. This, this is like evil Sonic, though. <laughs> uh, Did you see the Sonic movies coming out or something? Yeah, well, no, it came out. There was a Sonic movie. Jim oh, Carrey, did it just come out? Jim Carrey uh, is in it, yeah. That's yeah. great. That's going to be interesting. All right. I, have, I haven't seen it yet, I'm sure. Is it any good? Anybody in the chat, if you've seen the Sonic movie, tell us if it's I any good. Seen it. Yeah, if you've seen it, let us know. Because uh, I'd I'd be curious to see if it's any good or not. On yeah. the other hand, the Tiger King. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> so this is another good one. Um, let's see, printed huge at 0.25 millimeter layer heights on the, uh, what, with proof slicer well, on the uh, 0.25 millimeter layer heights is huge. That's what I was thinking in my head, but I didn't say it. Okay. Uh, artillery X one. <laughs> no, I mean it's all it's all relative. So on that, what 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 printer? Did you say it was uh, it's got artillery X one with a Hermera oh, on it? Oh, okay, okay. So it's a sidewinder. So yeah, that's that's decently big. That's uh, this is uh, that that looks like this is Tom Jackson's place. I, I recognize that background, right? Is that is that Filament Frenzy? That um, uh, yep. Oh, Tom who, rec who recognizes Tom Jackson's wall? This guy. <laughs> uh. That, that's pretty impressive, actually. Like, hey, I know that wall. He's got a very, he's got a very sweet print cave setup going. Nice. Yeah, the dude knows nice how to. Work, uh, dude knows how to print. Nice work, Tom, and, and uh, that that is a great print there. Mm. Um, also, I'd put him, I'd put him in my top ten beards for 20, 2019, 2020 running. So with, if you with, think you work hockey, it, with work hockey. So if you yeah. want to be in Pooch's top. Top ten for for epic beards, you know. Send your submissions. Tag it hot makes <laughs> epic, but only epic beards apply, please. Like if right. if birds would not consider living in your beard, you're not ready yet. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see, Jeremy Babcock. Um, oh, Foss. Yeah, I can't talk. Fotis mint. Fotis. Yeah. Fotis. Fotis. Potato, potato. I am. I, I don't know. I haven't picked the top two yet, Chris Warcocky, but you know, we, we'll see when we have the beard off, the great beard off of 2020. What time we got? Oh, geez. yeah, I know. We got to cook through here because I got I got to be bouncing in about seven minutes. Let's see what minutes. we got. Oh, here you go. Oh, multicolor. There you go. What is uh, that? It, it used the palette 2P. Uh huh. P2 um, Pro. At, yep. At Filament Frenzy and Sydney Great File. I think that was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, so he did the – you saw the original Mandrel he did? So right. this is just kind of his little uh, – looks like Easter Pastels remix of that. It's very cool, though. I like nice. it. What we got next? Oh, a little uh, diorama that's painted for Easter. That was okay. cute. All that's right. Easter eggs. I like it. I like it. I dig. Um, that was from uh, Barbara, uh, Bob Carnes, if I can talk. Good job, Bob. Or follow some more people. <laughs> and uh, Andy Podmore did this really cool print. I I saw this cool. the other day and I was like, that's man, that's Opera pretty House? cool. Is that the Sydney Opera House? What is that? Uh, what that, that, is, that I no. believe, yeah, I believe so. Uh, is, there, is that the only angle we have? Uh, it is the Sydney Opera House, yes. Okay. Um, I, Ender 3.2 layer height. Um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice though. That's really cool. He's gonna start printing some more cool stuff like that too. I told him to tag us. Nice. All right, I'm kind of going faster here. Oh, the light lights. Speed. Yeah, What's made these little uh, little bottles remixed to hang on the wall so he can sort his nuts. You um, gotta you gotta keep your nuts sorted, man. That's yeah. very it's critical. Yeah. Uh, you don't want your nuts getting mixed up. No. Um, it's a, sometimes you know. They get everywhere, and you, I've, yeah, I sit on my nuts. It's no good. Right. No. Well, Makes me sad. if this was a bag, it would be a nuts. Ah, oh, never mind. It Anyways, is. Uh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice work, uh, Steven. That's a really cool idea. Uh, yeah. you, I'm assuming you just pop this out, you dump your nuts in your hand, and you, you keep moving. It's That's a really that's, cool idea. That's what I always do. 
<laughs> Dave Randolph. I had to. I had to get. <laughs> <God damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is that from like like Mad Magazine? Like it reminds <laughs> me like the old Spy versus Spy. Is that like <laughs> what is that from? It's you know what hilarious. I'm about? Do you know like the it old is, it's school funny. Mad Magazine stuff? He's gonna go to Costco and get some toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, basically. Yeah, I, I, I definitely I know what you're talking about. In uh, plague, plague mask, I've seen it before. The plague, Bir Birdman, or yeah, I don't think I've seen. It. It's a it's a for a movie. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen the reference before. I haven't seen the actual there you go. movie. So Warcocky's saying it's called the Plague Doctor Mask. This was done on an LOU uh, printer in resin. I thought that was really good. That was a really cool print. Hmm. I got my guitar yeah. and I got my my handgun. Gotta love it. It's Johnny Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand. Okay. I feel like uh, I feel stupid that I don't know some of these nice characters. Work. James Bricknell. Nice work, James. Oh yeah, I like James. James is a cool dude. I don't. Yeah. I I don't know. Somebody explain what Johnny Silverhand is, and I'm gonna get totally flamed in the chat for not knowing but and last but not least in the hot mix of the week here um the 3d mist printer sent us some stuff he takes old tablets and put them on the wall with a weather app running mm -hmm. he had a tablet die so he uh redesigned this mm -hmm. and a functional print of the week i'll call it nice where's and the where's the tab oh there it is Look there you that. go Ooh, that's very sci-fi that like you know yeah like your control panel for your door. You now you just now miss printer. You need to work on a door that goes. Yeah, right. You know, and it, like, this uh, this needs like a handprint recognition recognition yeah. on it, so you can put your hand right on it. Right. My voice is my passport. Authenticate. That's, <laughs> that's different than the handprint, but yeah, there's some right. biometrics. Right. Little biometrics in there. Uh, all right. I'm gonna pull up the if I can. Uh, this is, this is a, a book by William Gibson, a cyberpunk character. I like that. Oh, got it. Okay. Cool. There Very we go. Cool. Well, that was our Hot Makes of the Week. If you guys want to be on Hot Wakes, Hot Wakes, Hot Makes of the Week, you want to see anything up here, uh, hashtag Hot Makes. Shoot it out there. If you can beat Chris Warcocky this next week. What, on a, growing you, an epic beer? I'll send you a prize. No, the tag oh, the Hot tagging. Makes. The stacking. Yeah. If you I'll could, if you could beat Chris Warcocky growing an epic beard in just a week, then you you would be a hands down winner, though. I love it. <laughs> what we got? We don't have much time. Do you have a rant for us? Do you want to hit one? No, you know I'm going to take it easy okay. on y'all this week. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, let me think. No, I don't. I don't want most of the stuff I'd rant about. If people are tired of hearing about right now, so let's just we'll keep it. We'll keep it on the positive. Um, I like it. Well, I yeah. feel good because uh, I can see chat again. Yeah, good. I mean, you gotta you gotta be connected with your people. That's that's critical. I know. I felt I felt um, I'm gonna have to do the dual screen thing. Uh, I could do that through the projector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll have to do that for next time. But but yeah, oh. nice. Uh, I love the hot makes. Keep them coming. Thank you so much for the dollar ninety nine. As uh, someone else, we would know. Oh, say, are you out of your mind? Out of your mind? <laughs> I was just saying it. I was just saying, I was just gonna say it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know it's awesome. It uh you know, yeah guys like thanks for tagging them i love being able to, I, it, especially right now it's like you, you guys are really i just want to i'm gonna just throw out some pooch love instead of a rant this time because you know i've been so occupied with other things that it's just like i need i need the hot makes to just feel like there's balance in the force again uh you know i want to feel like i'm in touch and so I, I think a lot of you guys probably get that out of it too like that's what, what why we do what we do this is why we do Right, right, Nerdy J. <laughs> I agree. I agree, and yeah. I love seeing. I love seeing the stuff people text and chat and and hit the hot makes with because I, honestly, I don't have a lot of time to look. So there's I'm, no, there's so much of it, right? You could never, you know, keep track of it all, and it's like we don't want that those little juicy little nuggets to slip through the cracks, you know? Right, right. And and I definitely appreciate everybody who does tag and keep it coming. Like I said, I will count them this next week, and if you can beat. Chris, what's he got? Uh, what's the number? What's the number to um, beat? I'll have to we, go. Look. To I, I don't know, yeah, but no, know. I mean, I mean, from now till next Monday, if someone can beat Chris's number, you're gonna get hot makes bomb. No spamming though. It's got no you spamming. can't just put hot. You know, don't spam us with hot makes. It yeah, has know. to be has to be cool stuff uh, in your eyes, but not like 
every comment you see, you know, I mean, don't, <laughs> and don't retweet me 700 times because those don't count. I have a saying in, in my, my web development uh, career that I've always said, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's when, when everything is bold, nothing is bold. Right. You know, so it's like, they, you know, people take copy, they want to flow copy and they want to be like, oh, this, this needs to be bold. This needs to be bold. This might be like you, if you want that impact, right. You got to make sure it's special. Right. So don't just, right. but we, but we are, we, we got plenty of room for more, right. There's plenty of room for more, but like, we don't want just, you know, <laughs> it's, I should have said that it's, I did, we're going to get, I'm going to get hammered. It's going to be awesome. That was a little uh, ranty. Was that a little ranty? Yeah, no, that's okay though. That's okay. Okay. All right. I caused it. All right. I like it. All right. I got to bounce. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to say peace one. out to everybody. We'll awesome see you next time. Y'all. Thanks for being on the chat. Thanks for the 199, Chris Workaki. Yes, Thanks for definitely. all the hot makes. Keep tagging them. I'll be back and I'll tell you more about what I think is hot and not and maybe rant <laughs> a little bit next week. Anyway, take, take care of my boy, Nerdy J, in the meantime. Okay. All right. Good night, Have everybody. A good one, Have Bye -bye. a great night and we'll see you next week. All right. Peace out. All right. Ah, oh, I'm back. Holy moly. I'm giant on my screen now. So we're back. I got some really cool uh, stuff to talk about. Since he had to go, I, I moved up uh, the hot mix. And um, now I want to talk a little bit about Maker News. Um, you know, I think... Um, oh, there he is. So uh, I think there's a lot of cool stuff going on out there. And some of the news that's hit, hit us this week is... Uh, Creality, Creality. Uh, I think it was, maybe it was the end of last week, but really, they put out, they debuted, we'll call it, some new printers. Um, some of them look really cool. Some of them look pretty interesting, and I know none of them are out currently, but they're in the works. And I also think they're going to do a crowdsource printer. Um, if I understood that right, at least one of them will be crowdsourced. Um, yeah, the the belt printer. The Ender 6 uh, Max, like Tony just said, and, and Brandon 112 said the belt printer. I think that's like the Ender or CR30, the belt printer or something like that. Um, you know, it it is, um, they got some really cool stuff coming. They they did a, uh, uh, what, a Ender 3 V2. I know Chep did a video on it, and, and a lot of people were fooled thinking he actually have one, including myself. And then I watched the video again, and, and he says this is a digital, you know, a, a render, really, a, a picture. And I was like, ah, oh, darn it, because he was asking questions like what the board is going to be and stuff. And I was like, it's right there. Just take off the cover. But then I realized they didn't really have the printer in front of him. He, he, he was a genius and put it there, and it looked super good on his video. It really did look like he had a printer there. Um, yeah, CR CR30. Um, Let's see what else we got. Belt printer equals CR infinite. <laughs> Maybe it will be. That would be really cool to have, and it's going to be um, very interesting to see a a commercialized one. You know, um, I don't know. Uh, Two hundred seventy dollars. Are you talking about for the CR thirty or for the or for the Ender three uh, V two? Easter was great. Thanks, Paul. Hopefully, everybody else had a good Easter if you celebrate Easter. If not, hopefully, you have a great day yesterday. Um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, the Ender 3 V2 at, at a buck, uh, 270. You know, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't necessarily know if it's going to be too expensive at 270 or not, because if it has, um, uh, if it has everything it says it has and it works very good, then I think it'll be worth it. I mean, you can't really beat. For the price, right? You, you're never going to beat the Ender Three price, uh, you know, for what it had and everything like that. So they got to they got to go up a little bit until it comes back down, right? Um, nice. We did get a little bit of snow out here. Um, that's true, Zolan. It is kind of like a already modded Ender Three. So there's that. Um, very close, Tony. Just a little bit uh, spiced up, we'll call it. But you never know. It's I, I'm I'm curious to check one out. It'll be interesting. I I do think people have already taken their Ender threes and and virtually turned it into what they made. But the cool thing is to me is that Creality was watching what people did and upgrading and listening to what people. Um, it, it looked like they were listening to what people wanted and they were watching how people upgraded and they said, "Hey, we could do that." 
and they did it. And um, I think it would be pretty cool. Tony, I'm not sure. I I hope it has a 32-bit board going forward. I hope they all do. Um, but yeah, I thought they had some really cool um, ooh, 115 board. It's not a bad board, but I was hoping 32-bit. Um, but I thought they had some cool debuts. If you watch their 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 videos, they, they were super cool. The, the production was amazing and all that. So I thought that was awesome. Um, yeah, the, the core XY conversion for the Ender 3. I saw that. I think uh, Michael from Teaching Tech just did that. And that was a really cool, uh, really cool project. Um, I can't talk a lot about something right now, but I can tell you there might be another really cool project coming for the under five uh, that is similar. But uh, let's see what else we got today. Next thing I want to talk about some more maker news. Um, yeah, big show to watch. Yes, it was really cool. Um, some other maker news. So, uh, let's see. Fate's End. Um, last week we debuted, oh, debuted. I, we showed a, uh, a hot make, and it was the, the, a Fate's End dice tower, and it was something like this one. And so I, I loved it. When I saw it, I thought it was phenomenal. Um, so I went and found it. And I printed it, obviously. So it prints in two pieces, so you can put it on your uh, Prusa, your Ender 3. Um, it's it's not that big, really. So it'll print on a lot of the smaller printers um, in, in two pieces, which is really cool. And I love the... Let's see if I can show it. I don't have autofocus on right now, so it's hard to show it. But the staircase down the center is, is really awesome. Uh, it printed really good. Um, this is actually printed in, um, what is this, Coex, Black Amethyst, I believe that's what this this filament is here. And, and uh, <laughs> Sean, that's funny. This is the top of it here. And this is all with no supports. Um, David Houghton printed this for his son. Nice. This was printed all with no supports. And I really like that they did that. It has these three uh, holes here. And it just pops on the uh, top like that. I actually pr started out in this color, and I thought, you know what? This color was going to be sweet, so I changed it up. Uh, Nightcrawler, I print my coax at about 220, um, and that's PLA, by the way. Um, yeah, no supports at all. This was actually done on the Ender 5 that's right behind my head, but I'm dialing it in, and I need to fix my cooling. There was a little bit of... Um, weirdness in, in some of the overhangs but i need to dial in the cooling on that thing or, or throw a, a duct on there so it's better but but yeah overall i thought it came out really good but the reason why i wanted to bring this up is because um fate's end is actually doing a kickstarter and i gotta tell you this thing is awesome they, they're killing it on kickstarter and let me see if i could pull it up real quick for us here uh here it is boom I'm going to give it the full screen. So this is the uh, Fate's End Kickstarter here. Um, as you can see, uh, they're, they're killing it. They asked for $6,000 uh, to get everything rolling. Right now, currently, and this has gone up, uh, wow, it's gone up a good chunk since I looked at this earlier, but $32,739 originally. Um, this was only going to be 14 dice towers uh, plus whatever comes, you know, after if they were only get the 6,000, they would have done 14 dice towers. All of these are going to be um, high resolution STL files support free. And if you scroll down, they were fully funded in less than two hours or she was um, Kim here. She, she awesome. 64 backers already. Um, you can actually buy, you can back this so you can sell this model and it's actually really reasonable. I think it was like 200 bucks or 250 bucks or something. Um, 275 maybe. And then you can print them and sell them and paint them or whatever you want to do. Um, I jumped in here for, I don't even see mine anymore. I think I was 33 bucks or $38. Um, 
but it looks like that one uh, already got, yeah, $38 is when I pledged. Um, already got sold out. But the cool thing is if you scroll down on this page, um, all 14 they show you renders of or she shows you renders of. And now you get all of the stretch goals. And we're about to hit this next award here. And I just thought, you know what? All of these are going to be printable with no supports. And the towers themselves look amazing. If you look at this one here, uh, I, I love the dragon around it. I love the the um, roots or vines around this one. Which is, I mean, it's, all of them are super cool. I don't use them for dice, but I definitely would display these. So check this out. It's called Fate's End. 3D printable dice towers. When I'm done, I'll put the uh, link in the description because I didn't get that far yet. Um, but I mean, I just think they're they're smoking. Uh, I really like and let's see if I can do that. There we go. Hey, John, Matt, K. Hey, Paul. Um, so, what do you guys think? Uh, do you like this specific uh, <laughs> Kickstarter? I mean, I think she's killing it. I love it. Wife's doing good, Paul. Thank you. Um, let's see. Nightcrawler went down in temp. Okay. Nice. Good job. Hey, any Anything you think prints good, that's what I would do for temp-wise. I love 215, 220, usually 220 on mine. Um, let's see. Under the roof. What did he say? Microsoft. Oh, under the roof. Hole in the top back. What was the question? I didn't see the question. I'm sorry. Oh, the dice go in. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So see the hole right here? So it goes in that hole, and you can print this bigger for the bigger dice. And then it goes down the spiral staircase here. And then it comes out right here. So that's where your dice go. So it's pretty cool. I don't have, you know, I don't have a die anywhere near me. or Otherwise, I'd show you um, how, how it works. But... Oh, it's just the top. Good. We're good. But I thought that was really cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, Fates and uh, what Dice Tower. I, I just loved that. I, I thought it was a really cool print. Um, I backed them because I wanted to make sure. Now, you can get this particular one for free right now. The STL is out there. It's on the Thingiverse. Um, so if you want to check it out, check it. Uh, you can definitely do that. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about quick is uh, one of our own peeps in the house. Um, Thomas, the 3D print Viking. He's working on uh, uh, something new coming up. And if I can find it, let's go see here. Well, I thought I had it queued up, but apparently I don't. But we're going to pull it up. There we go. So uh, Thomas, the 3D print Viking, is uh, raising some money to build a 3D printer. Um, I think it'll be a really cool build. And if you want to check it out, let's see. Hopefully that looks okay. This whole uh, one, there we go. Perfect. So if you want to check it out, um, jump on Twitter. Check out uh, Thomas, the 3D print Viking, and uh, help him out. So all you have to do is uh, click on the link here. It'll take you to the uh, GoFundMe account um, where you can do your donation. Um, I look like Chris Riley. Uh, you know what? Let me jump in here. I think Chris Riley, he did a uh, 1,000 here. Let's see if it lets me do this. I'm going to match Chris Riley. So I'm going to um, not do that on the stream. What I'm going to do is when we get off the stream here, I'm going to figure out why it's doing this. And uh, I'm going to match Chris Riley's donation uh, for Thomas, the uh, 3D print Viking, because he deserves it. It's going to be a great build. I can't wait to see what he does with it. And uh, it's going to be awesome. Um, you can donate anything you want. It is a GoFundMe. So the money goes straight to him. And uh, we'll check it out. But I'm not sure... It probably is reflected in my glasses. Um, unfortunately, no, it didn't flash anything. It just like 
gone. <laughs> Later, Paul. I'll have to now. I'm gonna have to take the stream down because I have a credit card flash in there now. Um, anyways, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. But I will match you. Uh, I will match Chris as soon as we can get that to finish. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe the card. <laughs> maybe the card number is wrong. That's a good point. I'll check that out. Um, tip him with his own money. Yes. Crap. <laughs> uh let's see what else we got for you i'm getting blown up here oh nice so go out and support thomas if you can and have a little fun with that um the next thing let's see if i can open it boom there we go I think my uh bam. Ah, uh, didn't realize it. Except discover. Gotcha. I have to look. Maybe that's the problem. Um. Anyways, next up, we got a few minutes left, and I thought we would jump into a hot or not. All right, this is my hot or not for the week. Um, I thought this was a really cool, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to give it full screen because I'm the only one here. So I thought this was a pretty sweet uh, thing. It, he, this person is doing 3D printing uh, fishing lure molds. So they're making the molds um, with a 3D printer, and then they are finishing them uh, you know, with that mold. So I started reading through this and looking, and it looks like he does a whole bunch of different ones if you actually check it out. And I just thought, what a great idea. And I don't want to hit play on this because it might uh, hit copyright and then we'll be in trouble. But as you can see from here, a whole bunch of different molds. And, and it's really a cool idea, especially in the um, you know climate we're in right now where a lot of us would love to go fishing or some of us are going fishing because you can socially distance uh, while you're doing that, but um, you know, I thought this was this was a great idea. Uh, you can make unlimited. You find one you like, you make a mold of it, and then you can make as many as you want. What do you guys think? Uh, hot or not? <laughs> there you go, Chris Workaki. Um, revamped outdoors. There we go. Um, Nice. Hot. Everybody's saying hot. I love it. Husband says hot. Thanks, Sarah. I think it's stupid, but my dad will love it. <laughs> yeah. Revamped Outdoors shows how he makes it. That's right. It, I believe that's who did this. Uh, I have to look again. I'm sorry. I have to double check where this video came from, but um, nice. Later, Tony. Have a good one. I just think it's a really cool um, my buddy's idea, you know, Sean Butler says his buddy's been pouring lures into 3D printed molds for about a year. That is awesome. I mean, it's a great way to make them and you can, you know, endlessly do them. You can do any colors you want. You can reprint the mold when it gets worn out. I mean, why not? Yeah, everybody's ready to go outside. Uh, Sweet B says hot. Yes, without a mask, Sean. Amen. Uh, but yeah, I thought I thought that was a really cool thing um, as far as another great way to use 3d printing i just you know it's it's cool i like it <laughs> there we go but yeah uh so we got a couple more minutes here and uh, i know pooch had to bail early today he has uh, a meeting to get to hopefully he's with us the whole show next week but don't forget to hit hit us up on uh, twitter at hashtag hot makes um we will find a way to <laughs> count how many are done over the week uh, make them quality good ones you know and uh we'll see if anyone can beat chris if not uh, um chris is going to win at his own game next week and and you know we'll, we'll give that prize away um anyway but there we go 
<laughs> I used to, I remember we used to go places. Yes. So hopefully by next week I dial in my screen a little bit better. So I'm not like all over here, but um yeah. Yes, get us Easter bottle hunt. I like it. Uh question everyone, what is the best inexpensive way to dry your filament? Um, do you, do you need to dry it or keep it dry? A lot of people like the oven, if you be careful. Um, a lot of people like um, dehydrators. If you grab a dehydrator, you can modify that. There's some really cool videos on that. Um, otherwise, if you need to keep it dry, throw it in a uh, container with some some good um, uh, sil silicon. I can't even say it. Packets or they sell it in bulk if you can get it from Amazon now. Um, dehydrator. A lot of people are saying it's a food dehydrator. You can find those. If you get lucky, you can run to like, uh, if, if they're open in your area, um, a lot of people find them at Goodwill or uh, St. Vinny's or one of those like secondhand stores. A lot of people find their dehydrators there and then repurpose them. Um, desiccant. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I lost that word for a minute there. Very cool. Well, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I really appreciate everybody uh, for hanging out with us on a Monday. I know uh, you guys have stuff to do and you're probably busy at home. If you are stuck at home, um, there's always something else to do. And, and we definitely thank you for coming in. Um, <laughs> yes. So on, that's pretty funny. They're all closed there. Okay. Uh, I have to look here. I'm pretty sure they are here too. Uh, but you can, you can grab one from Walmart, I think, if they have them. Um, I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, Amazon, any of those places too. And um, what about the Mod Squad? I like it. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Hashtag Mod Squad. I like that idea. That was a 3D Jimmy idea, I think. Um. And I, I do, I did like that idea. We're working on that. Craigslist, Craigslist, uh, face, Facebook marketplace might have some out there. I should look, that'd be a really, that'd be a fun video to do. Um, I know a lot of people have done those videos, but I would, I would like to make one anyway. Um, yeah, the, the delivery date would be rough on Amazon. You just never know. I ordered a projector mount for above me and it says may something, which is not good the mod squad <laughs> that's awesome but uh, yeah we we definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with us uh you know we appreciate you coming every monday here on the edge of tech to watch a little hot makes um hopefully as we keep going and as the pandemic uh hopefully slows down we'll get more and more time to start developing the show again right now it's kind of um you know, we're, we're doing what we can do, but we're not putting a ton of extra time in to, to do a lot of new stuff because we don't have the time, <laughs> but we're definitely going to. So bear with us. We're going to get that rocking and rolling. Mod Squad might happen here in the next week or two. I just got to I gotta get people out there to tag or, or send video or fo photos or videos or something. So that's going to be a, an, um, a uh, another challenge, right? Um, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely try that. That'll be a fun, fun uh, feature. And uh, 3D Print Viking, no problem, man. I hope you rate, I hope you get to your goal, and I hope you can build a pretty awesome printer and, and show us all when you do it. And and I know you said it'll be all out there for everyone to do it, so that'll be cool. Um, thanks, 3D Jimmy. I appreciate that. <laughs> they had toilet paper. <laughs> um, nice. Yes, I, uh, I have a feeling hot makes will explode this week. I hope so. It, we definitely get them out there. And Chris does. Uh, Chris and everybody else that tags does a great job. Um, it's just funny because Chris, uh, he's always looking. He's seeing the cool stuff and he's tagging, and I love that. And it, it's it's really cool to see us see all of the tags that come in. Um, the retweets we kind of ignore because they're retweets, but. Um, Let's see. Sean Gould, do you ride bicycles? I may throw some models out if you do. Um, I have a bike. It's sitting right here, actually. Um, 
I definitely would love to ride more. It just needs to get warmer here. So let's see those. Let's see the models. Let's check them out. <laughs> um, I'd love to see them, Sean. But yeah, thank you guys so much for spending a little time with us. A whole hour right here on a Monday on the edge of tech and uh, right here with the Hot Makes show. Hang out with us uh, next week and we'll have some new stuff, maybe even a guest. I think we're going to bring a guest on next week. So come hang out with us and have a little fun. I really appreciate it. Like I said, a seven times now. Thank you guys so much for coming. We look forward to uh, seeing you next week. Everybody have a safe, uh, healthy, great week this week. And we'll see you next Monday. Um, Functional Bikes Mods. I saw you, Sean. Thank that. Let's do it. Um, but thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I got to get rolling. I know uh, Lindsay has dinner ready. She has texted me that I have five minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to get moving. But thank you. You guys rock. Peace out. Keep printing. <laughs>